Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ibot 2010X Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Looks like someone's near a hole, they've tripped and down they go. And we've arrived. Here in the underground. Hello, this is Ultra 64, and um, welcome to the start of a brand new playthrough. Welcome to Undertale, a fantastic RPG classic heralded by many Steam players on the PC, now finally released on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita, courtesy of 8 to 4 Studios. So let's just go for the intro again. But regardless of this, this is one fantastic RPG, and so fantastic in fact, is because of the major amount of things it can do. It's a smart RPG, and, if you, and a lot of you probably will already know what it means by smart, but I can tell you this, it's quite an unusual one as well. Where in most RPGs you have to fight monsters and level up, of course, this game gives you the opportunity to do the complete and total opposite. To spare monsters and not kill them. That is one thing very, very unique about this particular RPG. Created by the ideas of one guy, Toby Fox, Undertale is one of the most, most memorable RPGs. It's been celebrated and heralded by many Steam players, I know there's probably uh, probably loads of walkthroughs on YouTube as it is, I know I've seen a few, and they're all really, really good. But the game and story in its entire set is very, very special. But what's even more special about it is when I said it's smart, I do mean it. Because it has a very unique feature about it. But I will explain that over the course of the walkthrough. But for now, let's get side. Okay, right, so first things first, I'm going to put it on to the, to, onto the border. Yeah, that's right. There's a border involved on the PS4 edition and Vita edition. We're going to choose the dynamic one, so it changes as we play. That makes things a bit more fun. Okay, right, so without further ado, there's nothing else we need to do now, so let us begin. First, we have to name the fallen human. Now, you can choose any name you like. One thing it won't allow you to do, though, is to try and use the names of any of the characters. If you try, <laughs> it doesn't secretive, but we'll show you that at another time. But for now, let's put our name in. Of course, I know exactly what name to put in. There you go. If you haven't already checked my Facebook page, then you'll, you'll already know my name, if you do. If you haven't, then now you know. So, are you ready? Let us begin our journey into the underground. And there we are. Well, it looks like we've run in a, in, a, in a patch of yellow flowers. Nothing much around here, I think. There's not going to be any random encounters yet, but there will at some point. But now, let's continue on. Okay, up here. Oh, who's this? Let's go and see him. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused! By the way, when you're saying like that, you can almost, sweat, you almost hear a Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> Someone ought to teach you how the things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! 
Now, before we, before we continue on from here, let me just give you one little heads up. Now, I thought you already might already know, there are three game paths in this game. Pacifist, Neutral, and Genocide. We'll be starting with the longest path, the Pacifist Rub. So, here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Yeah, as you can see, we can move around. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! It doesn't. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness parents. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Nope. Hey, buddy, you missed them. That was intentional. Let's try again, okay? Nope. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! The villainous fans. Uh oh. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just want to see me suffer. Uh oh. Die! Oh, damn, we're in deep, deep trouble. Huh? Oh, Takes care of you, doesn't it? Oh, who's she? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Well, hello, Toriel. Oh, well, let's follow her. Ah. Ah, here we are. This is a save point. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. So, yeah, as you notice, know, filling us with determination. We will understand the meaning of that word throughout this game. Great, so we saved the game, let's go! Keep on following um, Toriel. Welcome to your new home, Innocent One. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please, adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, off she goes. What's this sign say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Ah, see what I mean? The switches, the ones that have not been pushed, are in the middle. Clever. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. What's this? Oh, reading signs. Well, we've just figured that one out already. <laughs> and that one? Stay on the path. Okay. Ah, that's the switch you want us to flip. Okay, let's flip it then. And she goes on when we do. And this one, and... Please press the switch to... Toriel. Oh, I didn't see that. There you go. No. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. Whilst you are in a fight, Strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. Guess we're going to have to talk to a dummy. Alright, let's see if it will listen to us. 
Here we go. Okay. First of all, let's look at it first of all. Check. Dummy attack zero and defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Oh, very good. Oh, total silence. Just standing around, having some angle left. Let's have a little chat with him. He talks to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation, but it was a bit one-sided. Toriel seems happy to, with you, though. Great, we won it, but we earned nothing. Ah, very good. You are very good. Now, we will aim to earn gold if we have to, but not any experience. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I agree, there is. Look at the pattern. What's that pattern, I wonder? Perhaps it will tell us what it is. Oh, here we are. Monster encounter. Our first one, frog it. Let's check him out. Frog it, attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Uh oh, Toriel's not happy with the thing. And off it goes. Ooh, she doesn't look miffed. I guess she was making sure that the monster didn't attack us. What's this? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Ah, smart. Ah, as I'm getting past these spikes. We can't get past this, so we're going to have to talk to her. This is a puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Okay. See? She now walks the route that we saw earlier. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Oh, off we go. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay, because we're going to walk on our own. Not much here. Yeah? There, as you can see, so far. There's a pillar. She's hiding behind it. Let's see if we can try and catch her off guard. Oh! Yep, yeah, we found her. There she is. She was waiting for us. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. No, we saw you behind the pillar. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Well, it's the only thing in the room. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Well, we could wait around here for her. Or we'll just, we'll, we'll, let's give her a call, shall we? Yeah, well, there's our cell phone, so let's give her a call. Call again now. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello! I hope that suffices. <laughs> well, let's call her again. This is Toriel. You wanted to say hello again? Yes. Salutations! Is that enough? Nope. Let's try one more time. This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given you a book to you. My apologies. Why don't you use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf power with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? <laughs> what leaf pile? There's no leaf piles here. Okay, let's talk about... Uh, this is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, yes. Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Come on. Let's call her mum, shall we? This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mum? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? 
Well then, call me whatever you like. Wow. Let's flirt with her. Huh? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman to like me. Ooh, let's try one more time. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you wanted to call me mother? You are an interesting child. <laughs> okay, that's it. What we can do is call her, call her. Okay, that's it. So, let's continue. Despite what she says. Oh. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Well, we could wait forever, so we've been waiting ages. Don't know how long we'll be waiting. But let's have a look around. Well, let's see what's in this room here. Oh, what's this? It's a candy dish. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah, okay. Great, we got ourselves our first item. Monster candy. Let's take a look at it. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavour. <laughs> I don't mind licorice. Anyway, regardless, um, uh, we've only taken one. Oh, what's this? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. You some mercy, human. Okay. And here we are, save point. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. If you feel restored, again. Okay, let's continue on. Oh! Encounter! We've encountered a creature called a Whimson. Well, let's check him out. Oh, one more thing. Notice his name? It's in yellow. I'll explain that after the battle. But now, let's check him. Wimson, attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I have no choice. Oh. Team monster's apologies, eh? Well, let's, uh, let's talk him. Let's console him. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Blimey. He is a scary cat, isn't he? But yeah, so we're all right. Anyway, just to let you know, um, uh, you notice his lane was in yellow? That's your clue to know when you can put, give mercy. And we'll be doing that throughout the entire playthrough. So, let's go. Okay, we have to get through here. Hmm. Damn. And down we go. I guess there was no option. Okay, let's check that door over there. Let's try just in case. Yep, yeah, it still does it. So there's no option. I bet they all got holes. Oh, awesome car. Wimson's back again? Well, we'll spare him. After all, he's not worth it. And as I said, we're playing a pacifist run, which means we're not attacking at all. We're going to show as much mercy as possible. Oh, hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm, intriguing. I quite like cinnamon, but I also like butterscotch, so I'll go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, she's calling us again. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. <laughs> there she goes. Right, let's check that sign. Three out of the four grey rocks recommend you push them. Okay, then we'll push this one. Oh, encounter. Froggit. Now we get to encounter Froggit properly. We've already um, spoke, we've already um, uh, checked Froggit before, uh, until Toriel chased him off. So this time, we're, I think he's not in yellow, so we can't make him run. I can't show him mercy yet. So let's let a little talk with the guy. Let's compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but it was flat anyway. Oh, it's blushing. Okay. Just watch out for that. Okay. He sees reluctant to fight you. Ah, which means... Ah, yes, he's in yellow. Which means... Spare! Great! 
and we've earned our first two gold pieces. Nice! We're going to need to get, get much more of that. But we'll spare, as many, I'll spare all the monsters. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can go through here. I'm not sure what we're going to do here, but we'll try. Oh no, down we go! Okay, it looks like... Oh, look at this! This pathway it looks like it could be the blueprint from above. Let's see what it says. Please don't step on the leaves. Well, that's easy for you to say. You've got hidden holes. Okay, we're going to try to use that path like it shows. Now, let us know how we're going to move. Oh, counter. Ah, Wimpsome again, so we'll just spare him. Go. Okay, onward. And up we go. Okay, now we know the roots, so let's do it. So we head down. Right. Oh, damn, I went too far right. Let's try that again. Silly me, we went too far right. Oh, hang on. Encounter. Oh, a double encounter this time. Froggit and Wimson. Well, Wimson's too nervous to fight, so we'll just talk to Froggit. And compliment him. Okay, he didn't understand it, but regardless. Oh, careful. Whew, missed them all. Okay, they seem reluctant, so let's show mercy on both of them. Nice! Two go with Earn, that's good. Okay, let's try this again. So we head down, one block right, then up, one block right again. Oh, well, let's check this sign. Did you read the sign downstairs? Well, if you didn't fall down any holes, we wouldn't have. Head down this way. Oh, oh no! I didn't see that. Damn, silly me. Let's try that again. Oh, a, a new monster. Mold Small. Okay, let's check him out. Oh, he's in yellow already, so we can spare him right off the bat. But let's check him. Check. Mold Small, attack 6, defense 0. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Ooh, he's on a sexy wiggle. Okay, let's keep an eye out. Oh, good, we're not hitting any bullets. He's ruminating. But we're going to spare him anyway. Or we can talk to him. Let's check him out. Let's flirt with him. You wiggle your hips. Mole Spore wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> okay, just keep out of the way of these bullets. Right, that's it. We can spare him now. Done. And we've earned one gold. Not bad, I guess. Hold on. But we're getting out of here, weren't we? <laughs> okay, heading on up. And we're back. Right, this time we'll be careful. Down. One block right. Up. One block away over there. And down again. And right again. Oh, encounter. Wimson again, so we'll just spare him right away. After all, he's not going to fight us. Phew, we're through. Off we go. Oh, rocks. Let's push them all. Oh, hang on. Encounter. Most small again? Well, we'll spare him right away because we basically have already counted him before. No gold! Ah! I guess if we flirt with him, we'll get a gold. So we have to flirt. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay, that's in place. Okay, that's rock. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Uh, wrong way. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I've got it. Was that helpful? Uh, excuse me, could you come back please? Huh? You wanted me to stay there? Yes. You're giving me a real workout. Thank you. Are things easier when you just ask? True. I agree. You know what they say? If you don't ask, you don't get. Ah, next room. Ah, here we are. Oh, there's a mouse hole here. And there's a cheese. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Okay, save the game here. Onward! Oh, who's this? Let's talk to him. 
Z. Are they gone yet? Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. I don't want to move it with force, but we've got no choice. We need to get past, so... Yes. Here comes Napstablook. Well, let's talk to him. Let's check him first of all. Napstablook. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Okay, watch those tears. Wow, so far we've not got hit. As long as it stays that way, we'll be fine. He's staring in the distance. Well, let's... Let's, um, let's float with him and see what he thinks. I just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. That's Luke is wishing they weren't here. Hey, don't be like that. Let's give him a cheer. You gave Nats Luke a patient smile. <laughs> oh, he's crying again. Watch the tears. That's Blue looks just a little bit better. Well, let's make him even more happier. He told us Blue a little joke. <laughs> Ow! Just took our first hit. Cheering seems to have improved Nats Blue's mood again. Well, let's cheer him one more time. Nats Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dabberblook. Oh, very nice. Do you like it? <laughs> That's Blue eagerly awaits your response. Well, let's cheer and let him know we like it. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Bye, Napsterblook. We may see him again later. A quick heal first. Okay, onward. Let's check this next room. Oh, hang on. Nope. Let's check the other room on the right. Let's see. Ah, a couple of webs. What's this? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Let's check this one here. Hmm. Leave 7G in the web? Unfortunately, we can't. We've only got 5G. But I intend to leave some money. I do intend to. So let's head up. Oh. Sign again. I know. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. I've seen it. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders. Of spiders? Ew. I'm not exactly partial to spiders, to be honest. But blimey. Yike. Ribbit, ribbit. Ugh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing circle. That's right. Pressing circle. Well, at least you listened to me. Yeah, we did. No worries there. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog fiend border, so it's just pointless. Ribbit. Shame. There might be one. You never know. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful. Or human. You're correct. I am. Surely you know by now that a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? I found that very helpful, thank you very much. It's rather helpful. Remember, spelling is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Oh, that's gonna be a kicker. <laughs> that's gonna be a kicker right up the tushy. Okay, let's see. Huh? Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pocket for that. Okay, gotcha, Toriel. Let's have a little run around for a bit, because we need some gold. Oh, and we've encountered a new monster, a mix, a migosp. Well, let's check him out. Okay, let's check Migosp. Migosp, attack 7, defense 5. It seems evil, but it's just in with the wrong crowd. Ooh, that was close. Most eliminating. 
Well, let's spare. Let's spare it for them now. Oh, he spared multiple. That I to be yourself. Oh, and look at that. I. He didn't start attacking. He just simply dances when there's no one else around. Yeah, Migos doesn't have a care in the world. Well, let's talk to him. Hiya. Yes, hiya. And as you can see, he's just dancing. <laughs> oh well. Well, in case he's not going to be bothered with me, then I'll spare you. Great, we've earned ourselves two gold. That's enough now to put at least seven. Uh, uh, oh, was that Flowey? I just saw Flowey. The little sod is been following us. I just saw Flowey just then. He just left at the split second we seen him. Fla, have you been following us? Naughty flower. Uh, he's been following us across all, all on the way. I bet he's checking something. Don't know what, but flipping hell. Okay, let's get his new 7G in the web. So spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, have they? A spider donut. Let's check it. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Oh. Well, let's go and do this. We need to get a bit more because I think there's a large web and I think it requires about 18G. So, let's run around for a bit and grab us some, some gold. Oh, Luke's. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's check him out, shall we? Okay, let's check him. Luke's. Attack 6, defense 6. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Oh my god. It's a Star Wars reference. <laughs> As in Luke's Skywalker. Oh, jeez, it's Luke Skywalker. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Please don't pick on me. Don't worry. We have no intention of picking on you. We are a merciful human. So, we won't pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. He's there right through me. So, we can spare him now. Yes! Go five gold for that! Nice! Let's go and kick out that guy a bit more. A bit more gold is what we need. So how much do we need again? I'll just check that larger web, let's see. Leave 18G in the web. Okay, we can't yet. We need 18G, so let's head back up and fight a few uh, and count a few more enemies. It's not a case of fighting them, just meeting them. So here we go. Ooh, here's a new one. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's check him. Vegetoid. Attack 6, defense 6. Serving size, one monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Contains vitamin A. Oh, watch out. Flying carrots. He gave a mysterious smile. Well, let's talk to him. Plants can't talk, dummy. Hey, maybe so, but you've got a face, so basically you can talk. He cackles softly. Alright. Let's see. Now here's one interesting. Dinner means you can get a chance to heal yourself a little bit in, in the bullet time. Bullets. Devour, however, allows you to eat him. I don't think it will kill him. Oh. Ah yeah, I can't spare him right now, so we'll use dinner. You pack your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Indeed. If you see anything green, go into it. It will heal you. Here, mysterious foul. Ah, we can spare him now. Great, four gold. Nice, that's nine. We're halfway there. A quick run around for a bit so we can grab ourselves some more gold. Okay, a couple of guys here. So first of all, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna flirt with um, Mole Small for to Mole Small. Okay, done that. Okay, get past these guys. Okay, done that. And then we can spare both. Well, we'll spare him at least. And now he's not doing anything, so... Okay, now we spare him. Done. We get three gold. One from, from Mole Small by, by flirting with him, and two directly from, from Migosp. Nice. So now we have 12 gold. We just need another six. And then we can get that one from the ladder web. Ooh, Luke's. Okay, mate. Let's don't pick on him. Fine, someone gets it.
Okay, and spare. Great, five gold. That gives us 17. We're one gold piece short. So, a quick move around for a brief second. Give me a few moments. Try and get another enemy. Okay, here we go. Ah, another tumble. A chance to get three. So, we'll grab that three right now. So, we'll flirt with Mole Small. Filthy single minder. Watch your language, Big Osp. Watch your language. Ah, yes. I guess he's just happy when he's all on his own. So he can get beaten himself. When there are other monsters around him, he doesn't want to dance. Oh well. That's three gold. We've now got enough. Okay. Let's grab. Let's put ATG in the web this time. So Spider crawled down and gave you a jug. A jug of what though? Ah, Spider Cider. Let's check it out. Spider Cider. Heals 24 HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Now, just in case you're wondering, you can hold a maximum of 10 items, I think, before you have to start offloading. There is a way to store them. I know that for a fact. Anyway, for now, let's move on. Now we've done what we can. Ah, what's this? There is just one switch. Yes, but where? I'm guessing it's one of the holes. Ah, Mikos crawled up close and most balls there too. So, let's see if we can talk to this, to this guy, see what he thinks. I don't care! Oh, he doesn't care about talking. Ow! He talk about talking to me, I guess. I guess because he's, he's encountering another monster, that's probably the reason why. So, if we flirt with Mole Small. Legion, we are Legion! Yeah, he's gonna keep on doing this until he's on his own. Now he's okay. Yeah, it seems he doesn't like to be with, among other people, but he likes being himself by himself. Oh well, done. Three gold, excellent. Okay, which one? I'd say just check the middle one. Oh, I'm good! Right there! Oh, there's something over there! And a few other things, so let's check them out. So, we'll flip the switch. Hmm. And we'll check the other holes. So, notice there's one something first down there. Hello, Daps the Bluke! I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Well, yes. Oh well. And there he goes. Okay, there's two of. Oh, um, encounter. Ah, Vegetoid! Well, let's um, talk about dinner, man. Eat your greens! Ow! I took a hit while well, we grabbed that green one. Okay, let's spare now. Great! Four gold. Okay, let's head in this hole there. Oh, what's this? Oh! It's a Vegetoid! <laughs> it's the first time we actually, actually see one outside a battle. Okay, dinner again. This time, can we please let me have one without taking a hit? Great! Got about 1 HP back. He's here for your health. That's nice of him. 4 gold. Right. I think I saw another one in another corner. So let's check that one out. Oh! Luke's is back. Well, let's not pick on him. Okay, done. It's bad. And there's another Vegetoid. Okay. Let's talk about dinner. Ooh, thanks for the health. Okay, a spam. Dump. Okay, nothing else we can do now at last. We've solved the puzzle. Onward! Oh, what's this? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Huh? Oh, the switch is here. Alright, let's go through then.
watch this. If you can read this, press the blue switch. There's no blue switch here, unless it's hidden. I think it's hidden behind that pillar over there. Oh, two vegetarian toys now. Two! Well, let's talk about dinner. I have a complete breakfast. Ow! Ow again! Damn it! Yeah, let's talk to the other one as well. A green, E green. Okay, now we can spare them both. Eight gold, nice. Okay, I think it's behind here. Yeah, can't push against any further, so this could be it. Switch, press it. Let's press it. You hear a clicking sound. Ah, there we go. We can continue. Now, what's this? If you can read this, press the red switch. Here, yeah, there's a red switch. Done. The red switch has been pushed. Excellent. Oh, hang on. Encounter again. Okay, first of all, we'll... We'll flirt with a mole small. Spare him. And spare me off. Done. Onward. Okay, where next now? Oh, there's a sign here. If you can read this, press the green switch. Oh, Luke is here again. Let's not let's let's not pick on him. Ow! That hurt, man. Okay, he's done. There's no green switch. Is that it? Let's try. Hey, that was the one. We found it. Oh, Vintage Toys out again. Phew, got some health back. Got me thinking, why don't we try and devour him? Just try. You took a bite out of Vintage Toy. You recovered 5 HP. And you can see Vegetoid's alright as he is, he doesn't seem to be hurtful. Which basically means he's been spared. Oh, that's a relief. So we can take a bite out of Vegetoid if we need to, to get 5 HP. But I'm guessing Vegetoid likes it. <laughs> he's there for our health. Okay, let's see. That way seems to be the way on, so let's check the other side. What's this? Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of there just a while, a while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We were all too intimidated to talk to her. Really? Let's see what's through here. Ah, yeah, I thought so. That's the way onward. So we head right. I want to check out that door over there. That's there. Let's see. <gasps> What a view! Whoa! What is that's a castle of sorts? Oh, what's this? A toy knife! Okay, that's some protection we can use. If we need to. Let's see. Okay, so far we only have a stick and a bandage. So let's give ourselves a toy knife. Let's equip the toy, toy knife. Good, we've got the toy knife now. It will be necessary if we need to attack. Only if we need to. But I'll try and spare as much as possible. Is it? Oh, oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Ah, oh, hello Toria. Welcome back. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. But well, we did get some, take some hits, didn't we? I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. 
Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Oh, let's head on in. Oh, save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Good. Onward. Do you smell that? Surprise? It's the butterscotch cinnamon pie. Ah, right. She asked for a preference, and instead she decided to make a pie that has both. <laughs> I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off some snail pie for tonight. Snail pie? Ew. If you mean escargot, my goodness, the French were like that. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh? Let's follow it and find out what it is. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Ah! Is something burning? Mm, make yourself a home! Must be cooking the butterscotch pie, I think. Let's check the rest of this room, shall we? Oh, what's this? It's you! What's this? Room under renovations. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Huh. Let's check this. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It's another room. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most stun sunder of plants. What's in here? You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. You thought you should going to have a knickers? <laughs> What's this? It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> this bed? Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. Huh? What's this? It's Toriel's diary. Shall we read the circle passage? I think we better. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh, good grief, that's a pun! The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar calibre. Oh yes. Make a full note of this, I can tell you this. There's going to be a lot of puns in this game. Just a regular old bucket. Of snails. Ew! Okay, let's check the other... Oh, what's this? Oh, well, you notice there's quite a lot of yellow flowers around here. Is there a reason for this? Oh! It's a water sausage! Oh, so those are water sausages. <laughs> Let's check our room. Ah, oh, it looks very nice in here. Look at these cool toys. They don't see, they don't interest you at all. <laughs> then why did you say they're cool, huh? Doesn't make sense. Oh, light on and off. What's in there? A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Yeah, it is really dusty. And what's in here? Nothing. Well, we'll take a little rest, shall we? We need some health stores. Well, we already stored our health anyway, but let's have a little sleep. Oh? What's this? What's this? A slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie! Thank you, Toriel! Just give me, just give me a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Let's check it. Butterscotch pie. All HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie. One slice. It heals us completely, in other words. Let's turn the light off. I don't want to leave it on in here. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, what's this? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Yeah? Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010X. Whoa! The year that we, that we ended up on Mount Ebot. Weird. So we're here. Oh, and there's Toriel. She looks quite homely sitting there in her, in her armchair. It's quite homely. Nothing there, unfortunately. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Ah! It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named 
Oh, well, that was high for the cli climatic, was it? As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> I could come up with something better. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. I'm not going to, but still. Ooh, a kitchen. Let's see what's in this fridge. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I don't know why. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Toriel's probably. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> the stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Well, obviously, yeah. Well, there she is. Let's have a little talk with her. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Well, well, I guess nothing at the moment. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. I'm intrigued about that um, entrance way down there. So I'm going to save the game first before we do anything and see that if we can do it, if we can do anything. Okay. Let's go and check it out, see if we can go through this way. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh, I did not expect that. Toriel came back, went over, grabbed me, and pulled me back upstairs. She's not. She didn't want me to go up there, down there. I guess. Why? I wonder. I think I better go and talk to her. I need to know why she won't let me go up there. Down there. Okay. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It's called Seventy Two Uses for Snails. How about it? Okay. Let's have a listen then. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess. Well, follow me if you need anything else. Well, this time we're going to get out of here. How do we get out? I have to do something. Stay here. Oh. She's up to something. But she tried pulling us back. She's up to something, so let's head downstairs and check it out, right now. <gasps> there she is. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. What? No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. But, but, but. I need to leave! Uh oh. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have to see it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, we gotta continue on. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh dear. Let's head over and say first, because I have a very gutsy feeling that Toriel is not gonna let us leave without a fight. I just have a feeling. She's very serious here. Yeah. Okay, let's save. Done. Okay, I hope we're ready for this. This will be our first boss fight. Our very first boss fight. There she is. Whew, here we go. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. 
You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Uh oh. We're gonna fight. She blocks away. Let's check her first. Attack 80! Defense 80! Knows best for you. Yikes, she's got a heck of an amount of attack on her. She takes a deep breath. Okay, let's talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, no. Ow! Took a hit. She has a magical attack. We gotta spare her. We got. We got to. We need to spare. We need to spare her. She's not listening. Ow! Took another hit. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to attack her. I don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. I've got. I've got. I've got ow! Ow! She's acting aloof. Now's now a good time. Let's try and talk to her. I'm trying to think of something to say again, but oh, nothing. Ow again. We're in trouble. Okay, we're gonna have to. Eat. Okay, let's see. Huh? I'm trying to look for that page. Cause I know I've got that. I know I've got that butterscotch pie, but you can't reach it. Okay, we're gonna have to use the spider donut. We've got no choice. We need some health. Get the spider donut. You recover 12 HP. Right. Okay, we're gonna have to attack her again. No choice. Sorry, that was my alarm. Ow! Looking right through me. I'm gonna have to attack her again. I've got no choice. I need to get out of here. Didn't she realize I need to leave? Ow! Let's attack her one more time. Now it says if you have to, if you have to spare them. <gasps> oh, she's getting down a little bit. Oh boy. Okay, that's good so far. Ow! Ow! Okay, we'll try using... Oh, there's the pie! Why can't I go to these pages? I don't know. How do I go to these pages? Okay. Okay, we'll use, we'll use the spider cider. I drank the spider cider. My HP was maxed out. Good. Health restored fully. Ow! Ow again! Okay, attack her again. Okay, so far. Attack her again. I've got to try and... Try and... I'm only going to attack her for a bit. But I'm not going to kill her. I dare Let's spare her. She's not listening. Ow! Keep sparing again. Oh! Ow! Spare again. Oh! Looks like doing that seems to have done the trick of it. Oh no! We're in trouble. Huh? Oh, it looks like it's, it's, it's making a reaction. Keep sparing her. What are you doing? Her attacks aren't hitting us anymore. Thank goodness we've got, we've got through to attack or run away. What do you think we've been doing? We've been attacking for a bit and now we're not doing it. What are you proving this way? That I can be merciful. Fight me or leave. No.
Stop it! No! As you can see, it seems to be affecting her already because she's not attacking us anymore. Stop looking at me that way! Oh, look at her! She's, she's not looking determined anymore. She's looking a bit concerned. Go away! Yeah, her attack aren't going anywhere near right now! Yeah, she's definitely looking a little bit concerned now. We've got to convince her. I didn't mean to attack you earlier, earlier sorry, but I was trying to get your point across, but you wouldn't listen. But her attacks aren't hitting us now. As you can see, they're dodging us. We're distracting her. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. No. I promise, I will take good care of you here. Ah, she's smiling. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic. Is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You will just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. We got through to her! <sighs> If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Ah, she's hugging us. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, Torio. I didn't mean to attack you earlier. Oh, and down she goes. Phew, we're through. Thank goodness. And here we go. Flowey. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Boy, he can creep you out when he wants to! Yike! Okay, onward. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the ruins. We're heading to the next location. And when we do, the ball is going to change. Off we go. Border change! Well, look at that! It's now a snowy one. We're in a snow area now. Well, there's nothing else we can do around here, so let's go. I mean, we know Flower was, was following us. We checked it. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Someone's following us! That stick has gotten broken. Who followed us? Nope. Flowey's not there this time. But I can't believe we caught him that time. 
But we're now in a new snowy area. Someone's following us. Yeah. Can you hear footsteps? I have a feeling we're not alone. <gasps> There's someone there! Who's that? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Okay. <laughs> a fart! <laughs> the old woman cushion the hand trick. It always funny. Oh no. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Remember this guy. He's hilarious. Can also be an absolute sod later on, but I'll let you in on that later. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. <gasps> I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, find that convenient shaped lamp. Go on. Oh, that's good. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't have time for that! Oh, Papyrus, you little sausage. Oh, oh dear. Why am I human comes from here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, oh, good grief, he calls himself with the third person, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Oh, really? The way you pose, are you sure you're trying to make yourself some kind of superhero? <laughs> Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe you in the shower kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Maybe you're right. Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boom goggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. Get ready for this. A skeleton. Oh, there goes the rim shot. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Well, you can't help but smile. You're a skeleton, you sausage. Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. RIP SHOT AGAIN! <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more BACKBONE into it! <laughs> eh, he just has to get the last word. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Got it, Sans. Blimmin' Nora! Hey Sans, what are you gonna do about me? You wanna get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I hope so. Believe me, I'll be making friends with you quite a lot. Oh, some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Really? Can I have a look inside? Nah, same thing. <laughs> well, never mind. Why, are you expecting to, to sell hot dogs? Possibly. Okay, onward. See you later. Oh, actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, 
My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. See you, Sans. And don't worry, I'll make sure Papyrus has some great fun with me. In a good way. Ah, save point, great. The convenience of that lamp still fills with determination. Great. Good, game saved. Oh, there's a box. What's this? This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Ooh! This box will allow us to store our items. Great. So I'm going to store some of the... So at least I'm going to store the stick. We don't need it. But look at this. There's a tough glove inside. I'm going to take that. Let's see what it is. Okay, info. Tough glove. Weapon at attack 5. A warm pink leather glove. For 5 fingered folk. What about that knife that we got? Oh, I can't... Okay. Let's take a statistics that'll let us know. Yeah, the tough glove's better in terms of attack power. We may need to attack at some point, but regardless, I'll equip it now. Okay, tough glove equipped. I'll just put the toy knife away. Don't need it. There. Boss can only hold so many items too. So, okay, let's head up here. Huh? Oh, encounter! Ooh, a snow drake! Let's check him out. Snow drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Okay, he wants to. to he's, he's, he's trying to be a comedian, so let. So let's laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See, laughs. That was wrong. He's pleased with his cool joke, and now we can spare him. Done it. Got more gold this time! Lot more gold! That's gonna help us later! Oh, what's this? It's a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in? Alright, let's reel it in. All that's attached to the end of it is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. He decided not to call. Perhaps we can. Oh, it looks like Toriel's not answering her phone now. Oh, well, never mind. Just thought I'd try and call her. But anyway, regardless. Quick save. Sorry. Oh, encounter. Ooh, ice cap. Right, let's check him out. Check. Ice cap. Attack 11, defense 4. This T wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Ooh, good point. It works the same way. Your head looks so... Naked! Ow! My own fault. Icecap also wants a hat for his nose. Compliment on his hat. You inform Icecap that it has a great hat. Duh! Who doesn't know? It's snowing, Dandruff. No, he's not. Okay. Compliment again. You inform Icecap that it has a great hat. Doesn't know. No, it's still not do it. Do I steal it or ignore him? Let's try stealing it. You try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! Oh dear. Let's ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here! Oh, you've got yourself in a good position there. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. So ignore it still. You see you're not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Desperate for attention. Now we can spare him. Finally! I'll save the game now to get my health back up from that attack I received. Okay, now we can go on. Well, well, look who's here. The brothers, let's go and speak to them. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Huh? 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 
Uh, 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 u
My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. I think we've already learned that when encountering Doggo earlier on, Sans, so you're a little bit behind the times, but never mind. Okay. Oh, run ice. Oh, it's skidding. Let's check that sign. North ice, south ice, west ice, east, stone in town. And ice. <laughs> well, that was easy enough. Oh, hang on. Ooh, lesser dog. Let's check him out. Let's dog. Attack 12, defense 12, 2. Wields a stone dogger made of pomegranate. <laughs> Dodged him. Cocked his head to one side. Well, let's pet him. You barely lift your hand and the lesser dog gets ex got excited. Ah! Don't move. Move. He's barking excitedly. Let's pet him again. Oh my goodness! Lightly touched the dog, it's already overexcited. And his head has got has increased in size. Let's pet him again. It raises his head up to meet your hand. His head's already going higher! Jeez! Pet again. It was a good dog. Get excited now. <laughs> Ow! And that's how you repay me? You hit me? Let's try again. You pet the dog, his excitement knows no bounds. Go over simulated again. Critical pet! Dog excitement increased! <laughs> and it, it's over simulated. Pet again? You have to jump up to pet the dog. Well, revving. It's not attacking anymore! We can pet it as long as we want! You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Let me take off. There's no way to stop this madness. Ah, uh, he's entered the realm of the clouds! <laughs> oh, goodness. I called to the dog, but it's too late. It can't hear you. I can't because his head has now gone way off the screen. Shows no sign of stopping, so we'll spare it now. Flippin' hell! Jeez! Are we excited or what? <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Oh, hello! Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveller, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Good luck. I got the snowman piece. Now, this is a very important little item, I can tell you. We're going to hold on to this thing, and we're not going to use it no matter how desperate we be. We are. This thing is going to keep, going to keep all the way to the end of the game. So we're not going to do anything with that piece. We're going to keep it and not use it. Keep it on us as well. Onward. Uh-oh, the back. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called... Sleeping! Excuses! Excuses! Oh! Oh no! The human arrives! In order to stop you! My brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one... Quite shocking! For you'll see, this is the invisible... Electricity maze! When you touch the walls in this maze... This orb will administer a high zap! Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good grief! this place. <laughs> okay, try it out. Alright, but I'm going along the path you just made. If you like it or not, I'm going across the path you just made. Incredible! 
You slippery snail! You sold it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? He is something. <laughs> okay, onward. Oh, hello, mate. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15G. Sure, I'll take it. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Cool. Let's see what that nice cream does. It was 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh, I thought for a second we couldn't get food. Oh, what's this? Okay. Try and get it in the hole. Alright. Let's knock it down then. Oh no, it's drinking! It's drinking! I gotta hurry! I gotta hurry! It's drinking! Oh no, I'm, it's, it's, it's shrinking! I'm gonna, it's gonna shrink again! Come on, get it in there! Oh, we got the wrong way! Got it in! Light blue, ball is small. You waited, still, for this opportunity. Then dethroned ball with a sharp attack. You're awarded 4G. <laughs> I bet we could have rewarded a lot more than that if we got it a bit more larger. Ah, oh, damn it. Huh? What's this? Is it the ball? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Whoa! There's two pathways. Hi, Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Just 5G? Alright. Did I say 5G? Then 50G? Alright. Really? How about 5000G? No! I haven't got that amount of cash! I have to pay for the raw materials somehow. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it again. Okay. Alright. 5000G! That's my phone offer! Okay. What? You don't have the money? Hey! That's okay! I don't have any so. <laughs> then why aren't you looking around yourself, Sans? There's plenty to go around. Okay, let's try and get that ball into the, uh, the largest size possible this time. I'm gonna say, come on! What the hell? Come on! Oh, come on, you little! Got it in! Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You are awarded 2G. That's it? 2G for something that big? Boy, what a rip-off. Okay, let's see what's going what's on this way. Oh, we'll go on that way in just a second. Let's check the top end. Oh, hello, what's this? Smell danger rate. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Re-rating. Destroy at all costs. Oh boy, that's not good. So I'm gonna do here under. His. Hers. Weird. Ok, 
الأول Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Alright, let's check it out. It's a monster kid's word search. Can you help me solve this puzzle? Let's have a little look and see if it's possible. Well, I can see a few words already. <laughs> I can see a few words already. In fact, um, just to help you out, I've highlighted them for you. Just right now. Okay, there you go. Right, so, let's move on from there. That was easy. Sounds! That didn't do anything! Whoops! I knew I should have used today's crossword instead! What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest! What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones! Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder? Crossword or Jumbo? Let's make, let's make, make him Papyrus happy! Jumbo! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent, yet they also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumbo just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> he can't solve a horoscope! Okay, onward. Ah, finally! The save point, we need... Oh, another mouse hole? What's this? It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you are progressing. Thoroughly achieved by him by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. <laughs> Let's check it. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. That's pointless. Oh, it's an unplugged microwave oven. All the settings say spaghetti. Oh, good grief. He, 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 luckily, you know, can't see me. Hopefully, you would have seen me roll my eyes. <laughs> okay, knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heal this spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Great, a little healing. We needed that. Onward. Warning dog marriage. Dog marriage? Oh, encounter? Whoa, we've encountered a new monster! Ice Cap and Snow Drake confront you, sighing. Jerry. Alright, let's take a look at them. First of all, we need to, um, uh, let's see. First things first, we need to take care of these guys. So, my first order of business is the, um, uh, it's the ice cap. We want to ignore his um ignore it. Oh I think the ice cap's hat. And freeze! Kasai. Oh whoa, watch out. We got ourselves Whoa! Major bullet hell! Careful. His own name is a pun is freaking out. Okay. So for Snow Drake. Let's laugh at him. You have good taste in jokes. Ow! Okay, yeah. Snow Drake is, is now, now, now pacified, so we'll leave him. So let's take Ice Cap and ignore his cap. Okay, gotta keep out of the way of those bullets. Ow! Okay, what about Jerry? Let's check him. We've never seen him before. Jerry, attack zero, defense 30. Everyone knows Jerry. Makes attacks two seconds longer. 
I'm thinking, guys. Alright, let's ditch him. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. What a great hat, my chill out. There, spare them all. Great! Let's see what's over here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. I just found a switch hidden in the snow. What does that do, I wonder? Oh, it didn't solve that puzzle, did it? I think it did. Oh, it's a map! There! It says where the switch is. So I just found it off the bat. It's nowhere to show me, though. Uh oh. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. It is that weird smell? It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Uh oh. The dog eye are assaulting us. But look, they seem to be kissing. Ah, they're in love. Let's check them out. So? Check. Okay, attack 14, defense 5. Husband of Dog Aressa knows only what he smells. You hear that house tail? You're right. Ow! The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Let's check her. Dog Aressa, attack 14, defense 5. This puppy finds her healthy. Love that. Smells only? Okay. What can we do? Roll around, I think. You roll around in the stir and snow. You smell like a weird puppet. That doggy means me. Dog may want to re-smell you. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. That smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Oh, well, you know you smell fine. Okay, let's spare them then. Give my wife's fleas. Don't ask her. Okay, they maybe lost paper, 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 paper. Pet them. You pet the dog arrestor. Pets dogs? Amazing! What me? Hey, don't worry mate, you're gonna get pet too in a minute. Dogs are saying secret sweet things to each other. Okay, let's pet you then. Wow, pet by another tub! Well, don't leave me out! Oh, nuts! Our first death! Believe me, it'll happen. You cannot give up just yet. Mark, stay determined. Oh, I intend not to give up. Damn! Our first death. Blimey, that was harsh. Majorly harsh. Okay, let's try that again, okay? Okay, onward. 
We haven't got anything else to increase our defense. That's a problem. So first things first. Got these guys again. And Jerry's there. We've already, we've already done that. So first of all, we ignore Ice Cap's cap. So far, so good. Okay, we can spare that one now. Ignore Ice Cap again. Jerry. Now we can leave. Done. Good. Push the switch. Done. It. Right. I think care of that. There we go. Okay, the back. Okay, we've been counting these guys before already, and we died as a result. This time, we're going to roll around first of all to reassess ourselves. Okay, that's good. Okay, get him to respawn. Yeah, a little puppet. Now you pet again. Ow! Pet her now. Did it? Now they were. Now they, they will spare us. Yes! Finally! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppet. Phew! We got past them. Okay, onward. Oh, what's this? Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Okay. Done. Hi, Papyrus. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? I don't tell about spaghetti. Well, tell me eating it. Humor him. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret or human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you can ever want. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> well at least we've humored him. Oh he's back. This is it, we're gonna fight him. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad he. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Looks like he's not dangerous after all, he would attack us. Oh! He's coming. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? 
you were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy bone brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, we're not, you win. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. And once again, he's doing his pose. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to get away the answer. Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Okay. I think we can solve this quite easily enough, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's see. For starters, we'll go up here. Oh, he just moved. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm, alright. I'm thinking of a way to do this. Nope, it's not going to do it. There is a way. I know there's a way. The trick is because that one in the center. Now that's what I mean, the trick is the one in the center. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. I mean, I've, I've seen it before, but I need to figure it out. Hang on. I think I figured it out. Just figured it out. Got it. <laughs> Done. Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must take care about care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> it was a bit of a tough one, I'll admit. It was a bit of a head scratcher, but it worked. Hiya, Sans. Good job in solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. I gathered. Oh, what's this? Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alfies. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like. But if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also stop you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope smells like lemons, which is the piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Hmm... Yeah, alright. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Oh jeez, 
Despite all of his, um, his grandeur, his pull just simply made one simple path for us. Unbelievable! Actually, that's beginning from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working anymore, but still, oh jeez. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. We're gonna have a snow dog. Snow dogs, huh? Lots of snow dogs. Ooh, there's a save point here. Know that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills with determination. Nice. Let's check this out. Let's, check, okay, let's see. A way of dog. Please pet dog. Alright. On the floor inside is a box of pomeranians. raisins. Hello, you. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its deck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Come a snowman! It's a snow papyrus! And it's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it. The red marker. <laughs> well, Sans tried. I guess he didn't want to actually work on it. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. This is where we have to run, run across a lot of... Um, uh... Oh, solved it! Okay, here we go. This way. Up. Left. Was easy enough. Onward. Oh, we have some snow on our head. <laughs> okay, let's see. Down here, I think. Oh, the virus is here. What's up? Hi, the virus. <laughs> Ooh, gift drop. Let's check him. Gift right, attack 16, defense 8. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Leave me alone. Gift right, distrust your youthful demeanor. Let's decorate it. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! Ow! Just so almost blind left. Undecorated then. You with the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Ow! I should have moved. Ah, they're not fresh pine needles. Good job, refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Do a sock and fill with chicken nuggets. That's a little better. Phew. Irritated. Yeah, let's undecorate him. He'll be happy about it. Take the moon mark of a smoke tea winking. That's a little better. The childhood photograph of Snow Drake and his parent. A weight has been lifted. Problem's been taken away. Hey! Now we'll gift him. You give 35G because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Great, we can spare him now. Hooray! No gold, unfortunately. So we use some of them, but did we get any items? Nope, nothing. Huh? How'd you get here? Say, aren't you following me? No, are you? Oh, what's this cave? Ooh, what is this place? It's a door. Well, duh.
Not sure how we like that. Not sure what we're gonna do here. Do we have to unlike certain things? Mysterious door. I guess we'll have to figure it out a little bit another time. But I'll have to check that baby out at some point later later on. For now. Okay, we're getting close to time now, so we're gonna need to hurry. The snow puff, and this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What a tiny dog house! Woof. Snow puff. It's really a snow puff. Behold, a snow puff. There's 30 feet inside this. What is this? Oh? Oh? Ah, it's a cute dog. <gasps> oh, snap. It's the greater dog. Let's check him. Greater dog. Tap 15, defense 8. It is so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Ow! Well, well, in this case, I'll pet it. You're too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Right, let's play then. Oh, he's not excited enough to play with. Phew. Alright, let's beckon it then. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Phew. It's seeking affection. Alright, let's pet it then. Go curls up in your lap as it pets back by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Ah! Oh, damn! My own fault, I shouldn't have moved. I moved, and as a result, I got myself killed. You cannot give up just yet. Mark, stay determined. I have every intention. But, right now, we're getting close to time now, so I'm going to call it. Uh, I can't believe we've died twice now. Twice! Oh well, I'll just save now, and that's it. Okay, that's it. That's what we're going to do for now, so we've not done too bad so far. We've died twice, unfortunately, and so far we have not made any attempt to, t to kill any of the monsters, which is good, which is what exactly what we want to do. So, right now I'm going to call it. So this is me, Ultrasoul64, signing off on part one of Undertale. And so, until next time, stay determined, and I'll see you next mission.